34 years ago, I got out of the Navy and I was lucky enough to get into the record business. And in those days, there were no record contacts, contracts. No one had to worry about getting paid. Every, the, the guy who owned the record company just kept it all. It was all his. And uh, <laughs> there was one guy who could be inducted in all three categories in the Hall of Fame. And his name is Johnny Otis. He was a songwriter, and a great one. He was a performer, the Johnny Otis Band. Anyone who ever saw the Johnny Otis Band knew that they had seen something real special. He was a disc jockey, so there was no question that his records were going to be successful. <laughs> and I'd like to uh, think about how many versions of Willie and the Hand Jive have been recorded under how many different titles? Because that song, the Johnny, the Johnny Otis trademark song, was a sea change in how all music was after that. So it's a real pleasure for us now to see how Johnny Otis came onto the music scene. Johnny Otis Show. It's showtime at the Barrel House. The boss of the blues. A big hand for Big Joe Turner. One, two, three. Here we all let the good time roll. Have a spicy, Mr. Pisces. Shake, 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 shake. Round and roll. I thought it would be nice if I could open a club in Los Angeles that would feature that kind of revolutionary new sound. This was 1947, and I called it the Barrel House. Get a change! I don't want you to be no slave. At the same time as we were injecting some of our ideas into the way we wanted our songs to go, we were learning from people like Johnny Otis, and his band, a real unsung hero of early rhythm and blues. You ain't nothing but a hound. Johnny Otis told us to come down to rehearsal. He's going to let us hear his singers in his band. Big Mama got up and sang, and she knocked me cold. I thought she was great. I produced all of the early Big Mama Thornton records. The Hound Dog record uh, was written by Lieber and Stoller. I played drums on, on Hound Dog. Pete Lewis on guitar, and uh, Albert Winston on bass. That's all we had were three pieces on there. I know a cat named Way Out West. He got a cool little chicken like in the And die. And die. We were down south in the 40s, and I saw a chain gang. They did a slightly slower version, but they had the chains and the big bars and clanking on the rails and chunk, 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 chunk. Way out, Willie, give them all a treat. Hey. Then the next time I heard it was, uh, Hambone, Hambone, where you been? <laughs> Hambone. And then the next time I heard it was Bo Diddley, then I did it as uh, Hand Jive. And that crazy hand jive. When people ask me where did R&B start, R&B started in every area where there were, was a concentration of black people, where they might have had even one nightclub. And it started as soon as that began happening, probably in the 20s. And as time went by, rhythm and blues became known as rock and roll, and of course became the folk music of the entire world. And now the star of our show, the king of rock and roll. Johnny Otis, welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and that ain't no jive.
Hi. Thank you. Forty years ago, Johnny Otis was the man who discovered me in San Francisco when I was 15 years old. I was in a group called the Peaches. <laughs> Together he and I wrote my first hit record, which was called Dance With Me Henry. Johnny Otis was the man who got me started. And I've come here tonight to say, thank you, Johnny. You deserve this. You've got a big heart and a beautiful musical mind. Johnny Otis is a brilliant band leader. He plays all the instruments. He writes, he arranges. And when it comes to R&B and jazz, he's a sure enough guru. Matter of fact, he was my guru. The man is bad. He's a teacher, he's a preacher. Believe me, Johnny can preach. He knows how to pray. And my prayer tonight, Johnny, is to thank the Lord for letting us get this far, for letting us live long enough so we can be here honoring you and the wonderful music that you have gave the world. Johnny Otis. Thank you, folks. And thank you, Etta. I want to, whoever is responsible for this great honor, I thank all of you. And I'm particularly thankful, Etta, that you were able to be here with me tonight because of the people whose careers I touched in some way. No one that I'm more proud of than you and the artistic triumphs that you've achieved, uh, Etta. Thank you again, folks. Thank you.